It's 11 trivia questions on sun-related words. That's right. They're all words that have S-O-N somewhere in the answer. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show. It comes out every single day wherever podcasts are found, and I'm so glad you decided to check it out on this very special day. It is the start of Thanksgiving week, which means we are about to eat so much food. We're about to eat so much pie and so much turkey and green bean casserole and all kinds of very good stuff. And I'm excited for it. I am going to try and fast like the day or two before. And by fast, I mean just not eat everything in my house. I'm just going to eat a few things in my house so that I am nice and slender for Thursday. And then Thursday, I'm going to go nuts. It's going to be great. I can't wait. And I'm just excited to lay around on a given day and not have to go do anything. So that's going to be a ton of fun too. Play games with the family, eat some pie, pretend to like football. It's all in a day's work for this trivia host. And this weekend was all in a day's work because I got a lot of stuff done. Man, me and the wife had a great time over at DesignerCon 2019, Decon as they call it. A couple years ago was the last time I went and I got press passes, which was great because as you know, this is a very journalistic program that you're listening to. <laughs> and they invited me to come and I got uh, tickets a couple years ago. It was at the uh, Pasadena Convention Center, I think, something like that. And it was a little on the smaller side. So they got so big, that they moved it to the Anaheim Convention Center. And DesignerCon is really cool if you like any kind of art. There's like a little something for everybody there. There's very specific stuff where you're like, uh, you know, I like all art that looks like it's melting. And then you can find that. Like this guy does melting Homer Simpson, melting Mickey Mouse, etc. Then they have very specific like anime type art booths. Then they have uh, people that just make plushes or sculptures or posters. My friend Casey O'Connor was there with his friend Shane and they do a thing called Voltage VHS. I've plugged him on the show before. Casey's been on the show a ton. Uh, pop Culture Casey on Instagram. He is my go-to guy for all pop culture news. And he was there with this really cool booth where you can buy these VHS lamps where they take old tapes and they put lights in them and they added things like Bluetooth and motion sensored stuff. So we went and checked out that they had a big motion sensor VHS tape wall. That was very cool. And I actually recorded a quick podcast with them that I'll put out later this week. So you could hear what that atmosphere was like there at the Anaheim convention center. But Ashley and I had a great time walking around and I will be talking a little bit more about that on that episode, but that was a really fun part of the weekend. Also, uh, Sunday was really fun. I hosted a completely jam-packed bingo event at High Point Brewing, so that was a great, great time. And Saturday night, we did a big 50-person about 10 team friends trivia night at off the grid brewing in apple valley california i'll be putting all the rounds up as uh, episodes in the near future so if you like friends get ready for some friends trivia and i'll be doing that live event sometime in january at last name brewing probably in upland california if you want to play again and you missed the first friends trivia night in southern california you can come to that one so be on the lookout for that on my website trivia with buds.com Today's episode is all about sun words, and this was recorded at Last Name Brewing last week for our live trivia night there, which is every Wednesday at 7.30 to 9.30 p.m., and all these answers will have S-O-N somewhere in the answer, so it might be at the beginning or the middle or the end of the word, but be sure that you have S-O-N in your answers when you're playing along or writing them down. We're going to jump into this recording right now, so here we go. <laughs> Trivia night at Last Name Brewing in Upland, California. Thank you guys for being here. We're on the first round of trivia. This is called Sun Words. All of the answers feature the letters S-O-N in the beginning, middle, or end of the word. Number one is the criminal act of starting a fire. Number one, the criminal act of starting a fire. Number one. Question number two for Sun Words is just two words. Deer meat. Number two, deer meat. Number two, sun words number two. We've got two simple words, deer meat. Number two. Number three, a lark or magpie, for example. Number three, sun words, a lark or magpie, for example. Number three, a lark or magpie, for example. Number three, number three. Number four, a shade of red. Sun words, number four, a shade of red. What do you think we're talking about there? Number four, a shade 
of red. Trivia, trivia, trivia. Grab a beer and thanks for playing. Here comes question number five. 14 lines in iambic pentameter. Number five, sun words, number five. 14 lines in iambic pentameter. Number five. See if you can figure that one out. English majors, we got any English majors here? No, just me? Turns out when you're an English major and you don't teach English, you host trivia for a living. Number five. Number five. <laughs> we have jumped on to number six. Here it is, the first name of the boxer who beat Floyd Patterson in 1962 for the heavyweight title and lost it in 1964 to 22-year-old Muhammad Ali. Number six, the first name of the boxer who beat Floyd Patterson in 1962 for the heavyweight title and lost it in 1964 to 22-year-old Muhammad Ali. What is that first name? We don't need the last name. You can write it if you want. Just need the first name of that boxer, number six. Here comes number seven, another name for Dolphin's echolocation. Number seven, another name for the dolphins and their echolocation. Number seven, number seven, another name for dolphins, echolocation. Here comes number eight, the NBA team Gary Payton played for from 1990 to 2003. Number eight, the NBA team Gary Payton played for from 1990 to 2003. Number eight, number eight. What team would that be in the NBA? Gary Payton, number eight. Number nine, a binding of lyrics for tunes to be sung or performed. Number nine, a binding of lyrics for tunes to be sung or performed. Number nine, number nine, a binding of lyrics for tunes to be sung or performed. Number nine. And here's number 10, Romeo Beckham in relation to Elton John. Number 10, Romeo Beckham in relation to Elton John. Number 10, number 10. Romeo Beckham in relation to Elton John. Number 10. And your bonus question for two points, sun words. Number 11, what 12 letter word would describe people like Vince Offer, Billy Mays, and Richard Simmons? For two points, what 12 letter word would describe people like Vince Offer, Billy Mays, and Richard Simmons? Two points if you could figure that one out. That's the end of round number one, Sun Words. We'll be right back in just a second with the answers and scores. Cheers. So here we go with the answers to round number one, Sun Words. Number one, the criminal act of starting a fire was arson. Arson. Number two, deer meat was venison. Venison. Has anyone here eaten a lot of venison? Raise your hand, anybody? Yes, is it good? I've never had venison. It's delicious, huh? Number three, a lark or magpie, for example, would be a songbird. Songbird, they sing songs. Number four, a shade of red, Crimson, which is also an Alkaline Trio album title, if you like that band. Crimson, that was for you, Abe. Number five, 14 lines in iambic pentameter, that's a sonnet. Shakespeare wrote 150 something of them. Number six, first name of the boxer who beat Floyd Patterson in 1962, and then lost it to Muhammad Ali in 64, Sonny Liston, Sonny. Listed. Number seven, another name for dolphins, echolocation ability, sonar, sonar. Number eight, the NBA team Gary Payton played for from 1990 to 2003 was the Supersonics, Seattle Supersonics. Number nine, a binding of lyrics for tunes to be sung or performed was a songbook. Songbook. So because of the clue, hey, binding of lyrics, the binding noted that it was a book so song by itself didn't cut it there. Number 10, Romeo Beckham in relation to Elton John is his godson, godson. And the bonus for two points, the 12 letter word that would describe people like Vince Offer, Billy Mays, and Richard Simmons, spokesperson. I also accepted salesperson, because they're usually selling you something on TV. I didn't accept personality, although that is 12 letters and has S-O-N in it, but that's not, uh, exactly what I'm looking for. It's a little too vague. All right. Thank you guys for playing round one. We'll be right back with round two in just a second. There it was. How many did you get right? Did you get all 11 questions right? 12 possible points. Let me know your score. Send me your scorecards. I always like to interact with people who play along with the show. You can hit me up on ryanbuds at gmail.com or ryanbuds on just about everything social media 
wise. It's time for the question of the day brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. They make amazing printed t-shirts like some I gave away yesterday at Bingo Night at High Point Brewing in San Dimas, California. And you can check out their website, fmdesignsinc.com. If you have any ideas for something you want to customize, talk to them. What MTV reality show had strangers searching for clues while traveling around in a Winnebago? That is your question. Tweet me your answer at RyanBuds or email RyanBuds at gmail.com to be eligible for that prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was Delta for an airline slogan we were looking for. And your trivia team name of today is A. Ace of David Spades. Ace of David Spades. Thank you guys so much for listening to the show. Thanks for telling a friend about the podcast, and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with me. Cheers. 